Good morning, I'm William Dorsey. It's Good Morning and Tika Barbuda. 12 minutes up after 8 o'clock for this Friday. Hope that you're having a great morning so far and that you're going to be at your fullest potential. Uh, make sure you take every opportunity to be successful and uh, a high achiever today. Whether you're in school, working on your academics, or on the job, being as productive as you can. Make sure the boss is proud of you. And if you're the boss, well, you know you've got to produce to make sure that your business stays viable. We have with us this morning, Calvert Francis. He's here uh, representing Antigua Distillery Limited. Also, Ken Kentish here to represent Abrick and the Rotary Club Sundown. We got a chance to talk to them this morning about the Oasis Recycling Program that, of course, has been started in Antigua, and it's all about making sure we enhance and protect our environment. And in turn, it gives you a chance to get some revenue as well and an income. So we get to hear the details of how it works uh, from these gentlemen both. Good morning, Calvert. How are you doing, my man? Good morning. Good. <laughs> and right. so, Ken, all is well? Wonderful. All is well. Good. Thank you very uh, much. Let me start with you, Calvert, though. Tell us exactly the initiative from Antigua Distillery in reference to Oasis uh, Recycling. Well, um, last year we changed the entire packaging for Oasis Water. We went to a more um, eco friendly packaging, meaning that we're using less plastic in our bottles and, and our caps. So, just to give an example, um, right now we're using um, about 40% less plastic than what we, we, we previously used. Okay. We have upgraded the equipment at the, at the, the new beverage bottling plant, which, which is where the old Food City building used to be. Okay. And everything is now up to European standards and European specs. The machinery that we have in our new plant, there's nothing like it within the region. Okay. Nothing at all. So top notch. Top notch. <laughs> and you know, it's something that we're very, very proud of. And when we changed the packaging, um, we always had the whole recycling part as phase two. So now that we're, we're in the market for a year with the new packaging, you know, it's time to kickstart and, 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 and go into phase two, which is the recycling program. Now, uh, the recycling program, uh, persons, I think, on the bottles, it's mentioned that there may be, or the promotion has started, that there's some revenue generation or income that could be refunded back to you mm -hmm. uh, once you return the bottles. Where do persons take the bottles? Okay, well, first, it's not only Oasis bottles we accept. We also accept Beach Island purified water, okay. because at the Antigua Distillery, we produce both Oasis and Beach Island um, water. And so, the empty bottles, doesn't matter what size, whether it's a 350, the 650, the 1.5, or the 5 liter, you take it down to the Food City building where our new plant is and um, there's someone there that checks and verifies the bottle, counts them off and there's a five cent per bottle that you receive. Now, uh, we're encouraging persons to really capitalize on this, but are you uh, accepting a, a, a bottle or there's a minimum quantum that persons must bring down? Do we need to bring a minimum of 10 bottles on every trip or do I come in a one bottle to get a five cents? Yeah, but <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no real minimum, right? Okay. You know, because we want to really get every get bottle okay. back. So there's, there's no minimum. But I don't think persons are going to, you know, come down just, just, just for five Maybe cents. Maybe they come <laughs> the and say, let me give them my bottle on my way out. <laughs> but no problem. So as you said, uh, it's well, wide open and welcoming for persons to come mm -hmm. and uh, drop off your the bottles, of course, to maintain the recycling process. Um, what are we going to be doing once the bottles are returned? Are we, in terms of the recycling, are we going to be uh, rinsing them, cleaning them to reuse them within our uh, network? Or no, are we going to no, be exporting no, no. for a, a, a secondary use? That's a question that everybody's asking, and I want to make it clear that we're not reusing bottles. We're recycling bottles. You know, um, we Antiguans, we tend to use one word to, to canvas everything. Mm. So we say recycle and, you know, it means reuse. We're not using bottles. Every time you pick up a bottle of Oasis water, it's a brand new bottle that you're getting. Okay. The bottles that are returned, they are taken up to the, up to Abrek, where they are recycled, um, shredded, and um, then they're exported out of, out of the island mm -hmm. to places like um, I get China, South America, places in Asia, that sort of stuff. And they use it to make um, pens, cell phone cases, chairs, that sort of stuff. A secondary life. Yeah. Uh, let me now uh, engage uh, Ken Kentish. She's here representing Abrek and also the Rotary Club. How involved are you guys in this process and how important is this initiative for us to get some of these bottles out of our uh, environment here in Antigua to, of course, uh, give us a better, healthier region and also 
uh, the chance for this uh, plastic to get a second use. We understand that some thousand years before the process of decomposing would get into for plastics. Talk about the importance of this. Okay, thank you very much. Um, first, let me say this. The recycling facility, the Antigua and Barbuda Waste Recycling Corporation, ABREC as we call it, is a project of the Rotary Club of Antigua Sundown. It began in 2005, 2006, and we, we, we were totally committed to ridding the landscape of all the waste plastic bottles that you see. Much of the um, used car batteries and other types of waste material. Now, as, um, as my friend here said, when we collect these bottles, all these waste material, we then um, take them to a process. In the case of the plastic bottles, for instance, they, uh, we grind them, and you have what is called a, a regrind because they're into they you know they're, they're reduced to granules, and those are shipped to places like um, well yes China and a couple of places in South America, but I have to tell you this now that. China is becoming, uh, on its own, a throwaway society, and they are consuming more of the Western type products. Mm -hmm. And so they are producing more of those, and they are also doing their own recycling. You see, it's more economical for them to do it now. So is it that they're not welcoming our uh, export uh, of, of our own? No, it's only a question of need. It's not a okay. question of welcoming or otherwise. It's a question of, of, of need. They have. And so they are not um, importing as much as they used to. Okay. It has, uh, has affected us. So we have South Wales now. You said. Uh, well, we we were always, you know, um, shipping south. I mean, we have sh shipped to Venezuela and a couple of other places. But we just have to keep trying. Um, I don't think. The, but the, and the, the, the real issue here is um, uh, that the price has gone down. The price that they would offer us has gone down substantially. So we are suffering as a result of that, but this is not going to deter us from moving forward. This is why we welcome the initiative um, of the Antigone Distillery Limited in, in um, doing this buyback program. But let me back up a little bit. In 2003, the government passed something called an Environmental Levy Act, something uh, of the sort. If I'm wrong with the, the name, um, forgive me, where importers of bottled beverages and canned beverages had three months, well, first of all, they had to pay a dep deposit. And that deposit would be returned in three months if the authorities were satisfied that these containers were re-exported. Now, we hoped, when we had set up the facility, the recycling facility, to benefit from that, in that there were people who were not collecting the uh, deposit. Hence, um, there's a view that the cost of drinks is too high because the importers were not collecting the, the um, returnables. So, um, we tried to get the government to work with us. Well, give it to us, and we will recycle and send it out of the country. That, to some extent, worked for a while, but um, for whatever reason, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it no longer exists. That arrangement no longer We had an arrangement, and it no longer exists. That is, so, so this initiative on the part of the Antigua Distillery Limited is very, very important for us and for the, for the country because we will be able to collect more, recycle more, export more, and bump up our income a bit. 